Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week to talk sewing bee. Um, I'm sure many of you sat down and watched it last night and really loved it. Um, for anyone who is new to our channel, every week we do a roundup of patterns that we think we saw in the show last night. I know a lot of people see it and think I'd really like to make that dress, so we, or whatever it is this week, so we spend time hunting them out for you so that you don't need to spend ages looking. So, first things first, I should say, is everything that I'm going to talk about, really annoyingly, I'm not allowed to show you any images. I take screen grabs of the dresses and things that they make in the show. Annoyingly, I'm not allowed to show you any of them for legal reasons, which is really boring, so I will explain them. If you haven't seen the show yet, please go and have a look. Um, please go and have a look. Please go and watch it and then come back because there's a lot of spoilers in here. So, first week, week one, um, there were three challenges, which there are every week. The first challenge was a um, technical challenge where they had to make a kind of very simple shell top. The second challenge, which we don't cover because they're quite mad, as you saw last night, um, is the DIY one. So it's kind of upcycling and it, this week it was t-shirts with a theme so they use them to make lots of kind of crazy outfits and then the third part is um the sort of I actually can't remember what the third one is called any ideas what's what's that challenge called the last one where they get to pick what they want to do and there's a theme so this week was buffet dress I mean I'm not gonna lie have you ever heard of that phrase before I actually think they made it up for the show. I've never heard that before. I actually went and researched it before the show started and couldn't find anything about a buffet dress. So anyway, I think they made it up for the show. Right, so I'm gonna get started. So the first part, I'm gonna to talk to you about the shell top that they had to make. This was a really nice, simple first challenge, I have to say. Sleeveless top, facing, um, cent uh, bust darts, seam down the center back. We did quite a bit of research and I think the best option for this, the closest one, is the ultimate shift dress from Sew Over It. Um, this all, the, actually having the seam up the back was a thing that I found the hardest to find. And I think this one is pretty close, it's got the facing, in fact I've made this so yeah, it's nice, to me this is the closest that you could find. I've got a couple of other options if, as well, um, just because, you know, why not? Um, the next one I've got is the Willow Tank and Dress from Grainline Studio. I thought this one was pretty close. Again, bust starts, um, it doesn't have a facing, it's um, on this one. But this one is a really popular pattern, I thought I'd pop it in because it's nice and simple and um, if you don't want to do a facing, this is they, they're kind of turned and turned. Um, turned and turned round the <laughs> neckline and sleeve armhole, I'm sorry talking rubbish today. I was up quite late last night looking for patterns so that's why I'm a bit all over the place. Yeah and as I said nice rela relaxed fit. The final one I've got in the sort of simple top options is the Ashton top from Helen's Closet. I put this one in because I thought this was a really, um, it was pretty close. Her version of this is quite cropped and I thought this was quite nice for summer. Um, it's got a really good size range on this one as well so if you were looking for a simple kind of shift top um, this would be a really good option. So I'm going to now launch into the last challenge and obviously this week it's going to be quite a long one because there's a lot of people, 12 people. I think we did pretty well, there are a couple of, there's one that I got really stuck on at the end so I'm going to ask every, your opinion because I think you guys are also pattern sleuths and you might be able to help. Right, so first first one I'm going to start with is Catherine's buffet dress. Oh god, it's so, so awful. Um, I was really pleased with this one because this one was, at, I know this is right, this is bang on. It Usually there's one or two patterns that you can just about see the number on. This, this, and annoyingly for us this week, there was only one that we could actually see the number. So this one I know is correct. So it's the McCall's, um, 7970. Um, she did, I, she's done a mixture of versions actually from the look of this. I think, um, let's have a look. Oh no she hasn't, sorry, I'm going, I'm completely lying to you. She's done version D on, on this. Um, it's got lovely big 
floaty sleeves, it's a wrap option, it's got gathering up um, on the kind of, on the, God, come on Kate, on the seam up here, you, on, oh Kate, this is bad, you've got this gathering up here, gathering at the waist and then it's quite, I thought the skirt was quite interesting with the slit up the front and the, the two tiers are gathering on one side and one tier on the other. Um, so I was really chuffed with that one because I know that one is absolutely bang on. Next up, I've got Andrew's crocheted buffet dress. Um, so this, I think, again, I think I've got this one spot on. Um, <clears throat> let me pull up the pattern for this. I'm sorry, my laptop is here because I wouldn't be able to remember them all. So the pattern I found is the Simplicity 8872. I think this one is pretty right. Version C, I'll show you the line drawing so that you can see. I think it, this one is almost spot on. It's got the darts underneath um, the bust, gathered waist, it's got the um, tulip or, tu or bishop sleeve, um, that sort of slightly bell shaped sleeve, and then it's got the this little detail around the front, the sort of opening at the front which he put crocheted, which I think he crocheted himself, detail around the front which was really um, I thought that was really clever that he'd like made something and brought it with him to put on it. So I'm pretty sure that one is bang on. Um, I start I start with all the ones that I know are right, and then I get, as they, they get more vague as I go on. Um, next up, I've got Damien's Royal Ascot Ladies' Day dress. Um, I really like this actually. I thought this looked really flattering on the model. It's a really good fit. Um, and I am 99% sure that this is the right one. It's a Simplicity 8551. So the thing that really made it stand out for me was this quite dramatic sort of, um, almost like corseted top. It had, um, what did he put through, you know, um, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I can't remember half any any technical terms today. It seems um, he put rivets. That's it. Come on, okay. Um, in in the in the top of the dress, and then he threaded um, something through it. Um, it's again had that sort of bell-shaped sleeve. It had gathering underneath the bust. I'm pretty sure this one was bang on. So again, I was really chuffed with that one. Next up, I've got. So I'm actually I'm pretty sure this is the right pattern and I'm pretty sure that two people use the same pattern so I think that Jean and Julie used the same pattern because if you look at if you saw the line drawings they were almost the same um, quite relaxed fit um, layers of ruffles it had a ruffle on the sleeve from at the um, elbow I'm pretty sure the only difference was that um, jeans was longer than Julie's which I think is easy enough to do you just add another layer so the pattern that I think is bang on is the McCall 7948 um, so it is version which version is it let me just pull these up sorry it is version D so um, it's the version D, which is the one which has got most things going on. So it's got the kind of sleeve is correct, the two layers of ruffles. And I think that Jean has just added on another layer at the bottom to make it longer. It looks exactly the same. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is right. I'm going to say I'm pretty sure this is right. So I'm really, I was really pleased with that one. Um, next up, we have got Adam's 70s cruise dress. So this one, and I'd also like your opinion on this because I think I'm right, but it could be a vintage pattern. So looking at it, straight away I thought, and I'm sure anyone else who's quite into patterns looked at it and thought, oh, that looks extremely like the Wilder gown um, from Friday Pattern Company. I spent quite a lot of time looking at vintage patterns. The main difference is that it had this incredible long open sleeve and that obviously is not on the Wilder gown. So that was my kind of one real query point. But I think in terms of pattern cutting, it's actually quite a simple cut. I think you almost just cut down the top of the pattern. You add a bit of fullness in and then tie it at the cuff. So I'm wondering if he used that, the Friday Pattern Company uh, Wilder as his base. 
because the things that are really similar is that really unusual neckline which if you haven't seen it before it's almost like a it's quite a wide neckline and it's got a channel sewn into it and you pull um, and tie at the neckline so it had that it had um, the I suppose the thing is that the bodice looks a bit shorter on the Wilder gown than his version. I don't know, what do you think? I thought this was quite a good starting point, but yeah, I'm wondering if it is a vintage one. Anyone who's got any thoughts, let me know, because I'm, I'm, I'm gagging to hear them. So next up we have got um, Ralph's Brodery Anglaise Buffet dress. Um, I loved this and this was, and he hand dyed all the fabric, it was amazing. I'm pretty sure this pattern is right, um, it's the McCall's 7969. The reason I picked this, it has the, love, the same, it has a wrap at the front, quite wide sleeves which his one had, and then layers of ruffles, ruffles, tiers of ruffles, or gathering, um, he, yeah gathering is correct. Um, I think he's changed it up a bit. You can see that the um, with his one on the line drawing, the each tier was kind of quite similar in size, which is different to the McCall's one. So I think he's used this as the base and then played around with it a bit. Again, anyone who has a suggestion which they think it could be, let me know because I'm I'm definitely up for hearing it. So next up, we have got Rebecca's mum's buffet dress. So she made this for her mum. I thought it was so sweet that she makes her mum clothes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm far too lazy to do make anyone else clothes. Um, so I think Rachel found this one and I think she's bang on. Um, the Simplicity 8875. It's got the same slope. Um, I mean, yeah, this is pretty much perfect. It's got the lovely tulip sleeve. It's got gathering underneath the bust and it's got a kind of curve underneath. It's kind of cut in a sort of triangle and then it's it's mimicked at the bottom of the dress with a layer of ruffles. So I'm I'm pretty sure that this one is that, so I was really chuffed with that. From this point on is where it becomes um, less bang on. <laughs> so I've got two dresses, so Serena's dress and um, Loratu's dress were really similar in style. Um, both had tulip sleeve, both had ruffles from the waist down and both had two tiers of ruffles but at different kind of lengths. I've got two patterns, two options. Um, I, could, I don't think I've got a perfect match for this but I thought these would be good starting points and again if you've got any suggestions let us know. So the first pattern is the Eloise pattern from um, By Hand London. Um, I picked this one in because I think it was, yes, yeah, Serena had based this on um, a dress that she saw Villanelle wearing in um, Killing Eve and I did a pattern hunt for this because someone sent it in and this was the closest pattern I could find. So I thought this would be a good starting point. The sleeve isn't correct but I think the rest of the dress was right. So you can see it here, the thing that really cinched it is that she had a tie at the back which the Eloise dress has. Um, and the Eloise dress, if you haven't seen it, it's got lots of different variations, so it's quite a good one, actually, because you can kind of mix and match bits to make it however you want it to. So I thought that was a really good option. Um, for, well, again, mix and match between the two, because they were quite sim similar. Um, for Loratu's one, I picked the McCall's 8085. Again, actually quite similar to the Eloise one. Um, it's got more gathering at the waist, it's got two tiers of gathering, the sleeve isn't right but the neckline's right, the rest of it's quite pretty similar so I thought that could be a good starting point for that one. So, I've got two more and then I will let you get on with your day. <laughs> the first one is Fairy's dress. Um, she, this one has really annoyed me because I think I've seen it and I can't find it. I've got a good option as a starting point, but it's not perfect. Please, if anyone knows, let me know, because it's driving me absolutely bananas. Um, so the pattern that I put, thought was a starting point was the Vogue 9239. The other thing I will say as a kind of pattern sleuth is that I saw in the background that it was a simplicity pattern. But for the life of me, I looked through all simplicity patterns, I just couldn't find it, and it might be a vintage one. So, I know this Vogue one isn't right, 
but it's a good starting point. So the Vogue 9239. I put this one in because basically the sleeves are really similar and actually finding that sleeve shape was really difficult. I couldn't find anything else. Um, obviously the shaping is wrong, but the bodice is quite similar. I know that her one had a seam up the centre front and a keyhole opening, but if we can't find the pattern and you're desperate to make it, I think this would be a good starting point. Um, and then you'd have to kind of change up the skirt bit and add the layers of gathering. But sleeve wise, I mean that's the only bit that's similar. Um, I thought this was a good kind of starting point. Right, Ugh. last but not least, my failing, my failing, and this is where I need your help. Adrena's dress, I just, Adrena, Adina, sorry. Um, Adina's dress really annoys me because again, I think I've seen this somewhere and I can't find it. Um, so the, the interesting thing about hers was it had, it, it's cut like this, so it comes down to your um, waist seam and then it has a panel across the um, middle. So it could be part of a costume pattern. I don't know. And she did this amazing detail where she'd put these rouleau loops kind of over, overlocking each other down where the two um, fabrics meet. It looked lovely. But I can't find the pattern and it's really annoying me. Um, I didn't. I don't even have a kind of half option. I looked through everything and I just... Yeah, I think it might be a vintage one. Or it's a really obvious one. So obvious that I've just completely missed it. Um, so if anyone has got any suggestions, let me know. Anyway, I hope that was good. And we will be back soon with another video. And we'll be back next week with more Sewing Bee Intel. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you soon. Bye!